ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition will start now. Welcome back to Dubai, to the Dubai Club for the Disabled by the al Football Stadium. Day 5 of the 2014 IPC Powerlifting World Championships. We've had a real thriller in the men's 88 kg with gold going to Jordan and Muta Zakaria, our Janadi world record lift right at the end. This is the first of two women's events today. It's the women's 73 kg. We have eight competing in this and one junior. We'll start off with Joyce Wambui from Jaguna of Kenya, aiming for an opening lift of 60. It's a real quality field. A lot of these either medalists or very high finishes in recent championships. Wait to start with. So Joyce Jaguna going for 60. She's uh, 38 years old in a couple of weeks' time. One minute. Represented more than one it's in this either. Luna, as she impressed the judges to get things underway well. I think one of the judges' pads isn't working, so we're going to go to the flags. wait to see how she's done. Should be okay. It's three whites. Three white flags for Joyce Luna and she is in the lead. So a confident start. We're on the way with the first lift being successful. Joyce Yeko of Ukraine. She's the only junior in the competition. Going for 91 kg. She finished fourth in the Asian Championships in Kuala Lumpur, which was an open competition. I was brought to those from outside the continent and two sets of medals for each event available. here with a lift of 95 in Kuala Lumpur at those Asian Championships in November. This is the world record. One kg for an early lead for the only junior in this event. And she gets a clean bill of health from all three judges, and that has her into the lead. Thank you. Very capable of the end and quite 
quite pleased as a result of it. Now for France, Suad Gaswani set the world record in Paris last June. The Paralympic Games gold medalist at London 2012, silver in Athens in 2004, world champion at going at 60, European champion also. 31 now. She's from Lille up in the uh, northeast of France. Coaches are Alexis Weru, the national coach, and her husband, Mehdi Orisat, is her club coach. Three times the Paralympic Games medalist and the world champion from four years ago. This to get her off the mark, and successfully so. And it's three out of three. And that will do very nicely indeed. Fine lift. Excellently done, easily done. And that has her in the lead for France. Now for Syria, Russia Al Sheik. First attempt will be 105. Sheik with bronze at the Paralympic Games in 2008. And at uh, 67.5. Ceremony for London 2012. Silver at the Asian Champions in Kuala Lumpur in November finished third, but that was an open competition. So a bronze for overall and silver for being the second best Asian at it. Now lifting at 111, Natani Prabhat for Indonesia. She's going to go for 110. On the scoreboard is 111 though. In Medan in Indonesia. Our team coached by Agus Sugiharto. There's a team of four here and uh, a good team of four. Thank you. So 
110 it will be for Natani Porova. Means for the moment in Holbiem of Nigeria, who was going to go at 105, is looking for something bigger. giving her the white lights and she leads on 110. Very capably presented. Thank you. The up Vera Maratova of Russia, European gold medalist at 67 kg, in election in Moscow May of last year, 33 years old, and can their successful week continue. Dmitry Krasilnikov, her coach. Well, look good for 115, and it's gone that way. Three out of three, and Maratova. Maratova has the lead. Aiming for 117 in this opening round. Paralympic bronze in Athens in 2004 at 60. KG.
So every lift so far has been a successful one. With one more to go. And Amani Ali has the lead for Egypt. Excellent lift. Originally, it was looking for a lift of 105, and the set aside very high. Ijeoma Air Mobium of Nigeria, aiming for 119. She won the Asian Open Cycling Kuala Lumpur in November and lifted 120 in doing so. The world record is 150, set by Gazwani at the European Championships in Alexa last year. Also a powerlifting coach. Institute for Sport in Lagos. For 119 and the lead for Nigeria. Competition, eight attempts and all successful. They have all pitched themselves very well so far in this opening round. So into the second round. Back for Kenya will be Joyce. Kenya okay, have a team of three here. She lifted 60 in the opening round. And this will be a target for 65. Doesn't see a rise in the standings, but it will see itself in better stead. be a few overtaken maneuvers attempted in the next round as just about everybody is looking to climb at least one place. Main battle for medals now between the top five. on Jaguna for 65 having got 60 quite cleanly quite confidently it's the ninth lift of the competition and it's the first red two reds from the judges one did like it though. now an attempt at a new junior world record coming from Elena Kumieko of Ukraine and the target here will be 
96, having set 95 at the Asian Championships in Kuala Lumpur in November. Looking to increase her own world record. So the current mark is 95, set last year. Kameko got 91. Quite straightforwardly enough. 96 on target now. Oh. A bit slower than the previous one. Will the judges be happy with it? Did they feel there was a little interruption along the way? They obviously no. did because it's three reds in that junior world record attempt. Quite a straightforward this time. There was a lot of shaking going on throughout the whole body and the knowledge from the Ukrainian national coaches there that that is not going to be followed through. So now we're going to start to have movements up and down the table if we get successful lifts from now on. So I Zwani of France based at the moment in sixth will climb up to fifth if she gets this attempt at 105. She's five and a half kilos lighter than Russia Al Sikh, so will always beat her in the head to head. Always a mammoth world record lift of 150. Gazwani in the past 12 months, but this a target at 105. So evidently, she doesn't feel that something like that is possible oh. for her today. Lifting at 105. And in a bit of trouble, I think, with it. No. It's red. She uh, doesn't feel in the form of her life. And she's not going to go for anything as high as what she has been capable of in the last 12 months. So Russia Al Sheik has, for the time being, defended fifth place and is aiming for fourth now to overtake Natani Perbe of Indonesia. Russia Al Sheik of Syria is aiming here for 112. Lifted 117.5 that night, so it's 112 here. And this could see a rise one place in the rankings overall. But was that straight? And are the judges going to throw a blind eye? None of them have done. It's uh, 3.5. 
three reds for our seat, so it's back to the drawing board. So every single lift in the first round was good, every single lift in the second so far, not so. Tani Purba of Indonesia got 110 in the opening round. This attempt at 115, and she's looking to break into the medals here. She's fourth right now. There, uh, Moratova of Russia lifted 115 in round one, and this to overtake on the head-to-head -head roll. turned 39 years old last week lifted 110 in the opening round and this to match her qualifying mark set in the Asian Championships where she won Asian gold and open second back in November that was 115 and this is 115 Don't think they're going to give it to her. No that seemed no just a bit no out of sync, really. Uh, left arm fine, and then stopped, and then got the right arm up, and she'll be back for one more go. bronze medal position. Vera Muratova has 115 to her name already. Going for the lead now in the bronze medal position. And a penultimate lift, this Russian. This for the lead to overtake Mani Ali. Be a German, be a hero. Be a Judges have had a good look at it. She has the lead with two whites. Muratova. And that's the first successful lift in this round. Good lift of uh, 120. She's from near the city of Barnal, which is near Novosibirsk. North of the Kazakh Mongolian border. Deepest Russia, I think you could call it. And that was an exceptional lift. And now the stakes are certainly rising. Mani Ali of Egypt comes in now. Having been displaced in second, knocked down to third. And this now an attempt for the lead. Looking to emulate what Muratova did in jumping from third to first. Ali qualified with the lift of 
2016 in Dubai, February last year. World champion four years ago. For 121 in the lead. Judges will split opinion, but it's two whites, and she is our new leader. Well, we're getting the right lifts from the right people at the right time. Those outside, the top three all missing in this round. So far, those who are second and third have got theirs to go into the lead, respectively. First, Muratova, then Almani Ali, and now for Nigeria. And Carol Biam. The Asian Open champion, where she registered a lift of 120 last November is now going for 124. As well as world record will be safe. It's all about the medals here. between the top three and the rest now. Ehobiam retains the gold medal position by three kg with one lift remaining for everybody. That was powerful stuff from the very strong Nigerian team here. Final round, Jaguna of Kenya will have a final attempt at 70, having missed 65 earlier. She will remain with this just to get the mark on the board as it stands by the way the three medalists look like remaining in the top three nobody's aiming to break in among them the positions can change well that looked a lot straighter than the previous effort from Jaguna but the three judges have all gone against it so 60 is our best of the day.
Alina Kameko missed out in the last round on an attempt at a world junior record, but she's going to have one final crack at it here, at least in the standard three rounds. She could, if she wished, have uh, another go if she doesn't get this one. 96 kg, which would be a kilogram above her current junior world record. Silver in the Europeans last year, behind Vera Muratova at 67, and the sponsors have had to leap in very quickly because they felt that that was not going to be hers. So 91 in the first round, and she may come back for another go. and that was it, the spotters had to wade in. We saw the flag for Syria, and it's for Russia. Al Sheik is having another go. That's 112. mark of 110 but also two medals for the Asian Open and the Asian Championship having previously won Paralympic bronze in Beijing in 2008 <laughs> 12 attempted for Al Sheik this to defend her fifth place it in the previous round and actually really struggled with it. So that looked a better effort. But still three reds from the judges. And she denied. At 112, 105 it'll be for her, which at the moment has her in fifth place. Quick wave, goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Chance for Zwani from Lille to overtake. We missed out last time at 105, but saw an opening to overtake. She missed the 105 last time, that would have put her above Al Sheik in the head to head. Went for the same 112 as her. And if she gets this, Kazwani would go fourth. And it is in the last 12 months, as we say, that she set a new world record of 150. of 12 kg from a previous successful lift but she has lifted much more she really strained last time with uh, 105 and did again here maybe there's been some injury trouble going into it because 100 is the best that she's been able to do today they started 105 and 112 
and she finishes down in sixth place. No. from the start it started dropping so the spotter has had to dive in very quickly and well, she knew immediately she couldn't resist it wasn't going to be hers so the way her chance goes surprisingly it ended that early for her now Natani Porba of Indonesia and she's gone for an extra 5 kg on top of this would be a tempting of bronze but instead just happy to defend her fourth place to add five kg on to go for the 150 she missed out on in the second round we're into the last four qualified with 115 One winning Asian Championship gold in Kuala Lumpur in November and second in the Asian Open classifying she missed 115 last time this to get that mark now well that looked a bit more straightforward from it but we'll see if the judges have gone with it not sure they have to be honest three reds so Perbat, again like uh, the five who have gone before her, got the first lift but not the last two. lift in turn after this as one to the previous attempt as all the lifters are presuming their predecessor will be successful Maratova has got 115 and 120 and this final lift 125 <laughs> It won't happen. That wasn't going up at all. It will be bronze from Ratava. No. Spotters got in immediately. That's all six missed in this final round. It's the first miss by a top three lifter. Ratava will finish in third on 120. Go with a European gold from last year. Now, Amani Ali of Egypt goes for gold with an attempt of 126. Lifted 116 and qualifying in Dubai, world champion four years ago. Lifted 117 and 121 so far.
Ali for 126. And to go into the lead with only the Europeans' final attempt to come. She's key. Real yellow. She tried to get it up in the one motion. She's had one white light and two red from the judges. It is silver for Ali and it's gold for Nigeria for Ehirabia. No successful lifts in the final round so far. And Amani Ali tried so hard to add to a two previous championship medals with the gold at the world level, but instead it is world gold for Ijeoma in Herobia of Nigeria. And she's going for an African record here of 127. Record. Didn't go in this event, but the African one might. KG Caribbean of Nigeria got that lifted very well. But did the judges go for it? We're going to go with the flags. I think it's taking a long time to come up. No! And it took a long time. It took a very long time for that call to be made. But she has the gold. She doesn't have the African record. Well, two reds, one white. Had a stab at it. Just couldn't get it away. Point to the judges anyway. It was one all. One white, one red. And the final judge took an age to make a call. It looked as if we were going to the flags, but then he pressed red. One final lift, not for a medal. It is for a junior world record. Alina Mako of Ukraine has tried twice for 96 and missed, so she's going back to 95.5 to see if she can break a junior world record that's stood for five months. And she would break it by half a kilogram. 95.5, the target for Alina Kameka. And Kameko got it raised. And the judges have all said no. And the previous try was a major difficulty for her. And that was about the technique, according to the judges. But Alina Kameko, at the very least, has had a couple of good attempts. 91 kg, the only junior in it. Needed another to get a medal. But as it stands, we have victory for Nigeria. For the Harabiam 
The Mekos had uh, three attempts at the junior world record which haven't come off. So this is the result. The Herobian wins for Nigeria. Ali second for Egypt. Muratova third for Russia at a Perba. Al Sheikh and Gazwani with Kameko down in seven. That's how this competition ends. And we'll have the medal ceremony very shortly.
So, medals ceremony time. And we are, first of all, going to have a very quick junior women's ceremony, as there was one junior woman in it. And it's been determined that there should be a ceremony for her. Elena Meko of Ukraine. Cleared 91 kg in the opening round. Had three world record attempts after that. And missed out on those. Chairman of IPC Powerlifting, John Amos, with the presentation today. Gold for Kameko. So Lena Kameko with the women's junior gold. We go to a European silver from last year. The overall ceremony is on the way. So now the women's 73 kg victory ceremony. We really had three ahead of the rest 
here. Hang on a sec. Come on, love. Into position is uh, Amani Ali. See, normally they have somebody helping them up when they're going to lift. Not for the medal ceremony. Just a bit too steep for our Amani. So Vera Muratova takes the bronze medal, lifting 121 final attempt in the last round to take the lead. In fact, the last nine lifts of the competition, including the fourth the actual world record attempt from Alina Kameka, were missed. So Muratova with the bronze, lifted 120 successfully. Amani Ali. Amani Ali for Egypt, lifted 121 in the second round, but 126 in the end was just beyond her in the second round. Had been the world champion at the last games in Kuala Lumpur and almost got there again this. But Ali has lost the crown to Ichioma Iherobim. A new world champion for Nigeria. Lifted 124 in the second round, and in the end, that's all she needed to do. As the other two on the podium were unable to overtake, so it's gold for Iherbium and Nigeria.